I'm John Ortiz. I'm with Stratmore Hills Fire Protection District out of Colorado Springs. We designed this engine uh, not only as a Type 1 engine, but it is also classified as a Type 3 engine, Wildland Urban Interface. Uh, it can do both roles. If we look at this, we've got our front bumper where we can actually have a deployable line. Right off the front, we can have a 100-foot hose line for dumpster fires or car fires, items like that. As we move around this engine, we've got air ride seats, four of them for deployment. That way it makes it a lot easier, a lot more comfortable as people are traveling down the road, especially for long periods of time. We've got a camera system that will record what's going on inside the engine in case we ever need to do any sort of accident investigation. We've got two hose lines, one off of each side, to where as we pull up on scene, we can go ahead and put it in pump gear and we can go ahead and address the throttle from there. We also went with manual levers. We didn't use any electronic levers. The front compartment is going to be for long handled equipment. Our firefighters are gonna be able to get out of the compartments, grab a tool and go right to work. We can have smaller gear on a higher level. So they have a pull out drawer for compartments, an engineer's compartment with nozzles, couplings, items like that. If you look at this bar right here, this is a step bar that we can actually travel with. Doesn't impact any sort of operation of the vehicle at all. We've got a larger storage space back here. We do have an enclosed compartment for our step chocks. These stay dry, inclement weather, snow days. We're able to use them a little bit better that way. We have scene lighting, not only on the body, but we have it on the cab as well. When we get out of the engine, it's showing where the firefighters are stepping off and making sure that the area is clear. As we look at the rear of the engine, we've got hard suction off of both sides. The one hard suction will actually come down with the ladders, which will make it easier to get to. The ladder itself is lit up, very stable for our firefighters to get up there and reload hose. We also have hose poles for wildland deployment. As we look at this rear compartment back here, we have one shelf we can keep larger equipment in this compartment. It's a lot easier to get to. Another smaller compartment where we can adjust the shelf. Since this is an urban interface engine, we do have the ability to keep long handle tools on both sides. So now the firefighter and the officer getting off on this side have their own set of tools as well. <clears throat> we have compartment space for the officer and the engineer. Their bottles are on this side in case we need to use this engine as a type one apparatus. On the inside, we do have the ability to have SCBA holders between the seats. So that way our firefighters in the back, when they go to step off, they can grab those SCBAs and that comes right off with them. When we go to put it in park, the light bar and the remaining lights will go to 50% and it will go to a cruise mode to where it'll sit there and stay steady and every 10 or 15 seconds it'll flash. So that way we can turn down the lights and they're not as bright for our firefighters as they're working on a scene. We're a part of a Southern El Paso County wildland urban interface team. So this engine will be directly used for first out response for Southern El Paso County uh, with seven different eight fire agencies, including ours. And we can also use it for uh, structural firefighting as well. We went with these bumper brackets um, in these sticks, so that way it gives our engineers the ability to see where the corner of our engine is, uh, especially with this bumper protruding out for this cross lay up front. We're ready to get this apparatus in service to serve our community even better with this new piece of apparatus from SBI. <laughs>